Yo, Gondoza does not make sense. His playstyle and reeling doesn't match him at all. I find the problem partially due to how fast he hits his damage cap. But let me describe his playstyle. He attacks slow, but he's supposed to hit hard. If you time it right, the next attack does more damage. You build up rage from his combo finishers and link attack along with some skills. Everything seems to lean towards his charge attack. And the more rage you have, the faster that charge is and the more damage the charge attack does. Now, let's go over why I think it is um, in my clips. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking maybe either they didn't balance it, like they just don't care, or they have some kind of thing that that we're missing. Maybe they did it in terms of team play, right? Like, as long as this character is good for like the team of four instead of by themselves, then it's good. Maybe they balance it based on teams of four instead of, instead of their own individual character. Cause then Ghana is very good at the at, at the teammate in terms of link attacks and stun and putting out that link gauge and that's pretty much it. That's all he does. <laughs> Just by having stun power in, in the beginning, you know, freaking two hundred or like top top natural stun power. He's all about stunning. Like they make him uh, look like a big ass DPS character, but it's actually made for support. <laughs> Support master. Yeah. I feel like he's more support than DPS though. Ganda shines in link time. That's why you have high stun power and you want to build up for link attacks. Build up, build up. Like his character is all about building up though. <laughs> he's like all about building up his his punches and then he does a big punch. But that big punch isn't even that big. Like if you look in comparison with other characters, right? Does that seem kind of weird? Yeah, but from what I heard, Nirmaya can do that with the three slashes. <laughs> and one of them could be 2.7 mil or something, from what I heard. Which is kind of weird because of the damage cap, but I don't know. So I'm like, I must be missing something. He's all about building up. Like, you charge up your fist to get rage and then you unleash it. And then you charge up your link time and your store power, right? To unleash it. I'm not missing anything? In my, no, I feel like I'm missing something compared to like, if that hasn't been found. Like, no one found it. Link time? Yeah, so far it's all about link time, but I don't know, man. Yeah, I just use the link time damage. Yeah, either they die too fast or it takes too long to get to link time, right? Like, even in a training dummy, you can't get link time by yourself. Link together or like stun power. Oh, I guess not stun power, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It just feels weird as a character, man, for his mechanic. He looks like he's not a team player, but then he's a completely team player character. <laughs> look, look at him. He's so big and. No, when you're doing solo, it's hard because you can't get link time fast enough. You gotta have a team of four to get his link time fast enough. But he looks like he can solo everything. Look at him. They even have lore that he can freaking push mountains with his sleep in his sleep. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. Like, his character design and his mechanic in this game just doesn't make sense with his lore. That's that's why I'm, like, hella confused. I don't know, man. Unless unless they drop unless they drop some kind of new sigil for him. This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, 30-something? Yeah. You can't do it. You can't do it. Ghana can't do it by himself. For a big guy, he he's very team oriented. It just doesn't. I'm just saying that it doesn't fit his design. Like he's a legend that he can solo everything. He's a one man army, but in in actual gameplay, he's not a one man army. He needs his team to get his mechanic going. <laughs> I'm like, what? 